The Coachella Music Festival is just as much about the fashion as it is the music. So we invited celebrity stylist Philip Block yes. back yes. to DBL to break down the best looks from the California desert. Philip, welcome back. Let's get right into this. What was your overall impression from the festival? Coachella is a kaleidoscope of fashion mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> great take. That's a great take. Be warned. This is not, parents, pay attention. This is not your grandmother's Grateful Dead tie-dye t-shirt happening here. This is a whole nother level. It is another level. All right, so, Philip, we have some celebs we want to get your take on. What about, and I thought these were good, so let me know what you think. Vanessa Hudgens, she had two looks going on. She had this really cool pink look, which I love the hat. And then she had a really cool, I think, a bathing suit with, like, a netting over it. Yeah, that's that one. I is this a good, I love that, right? Is that a good or, or bad? Vanessa Hudgens is the fashion the fashion guru of, of Coachella. Right. She brings her A game every time. She's done this before. She's the old girl at the party. She's 33. She's so she's <laughs> right, you know, she's been there before. So I, I love the pink. This is the color of the season. I think this is hot, it's sexy, the high-waisted pants, yeah. wide leg pants. This is really fun. The sheer is very in and the hat just makes it playful and Coachella. Nice. I think the mesh dress over the bathing suit, again, two very big trends. The cutout bathing suits are all in the season. They call them one piece, even though it's barely a whole piece, yeah. <laughs> but they call it a one piece suit with all the cutouts, very, very in. And the mesh dress, I think this is a great, young, sporty, fun outfit yeah, to wear, Vanessa. really cute. Yeah. Do not look. wear this in the city, though. Oh. Do not wear this in the subway. Don't wear this in the city. First of all, I just want to say, I appreciate your honesty, Philip, because like we need this when we talk fashion. All right, and we, we're talking Doja Cat. You never know what she's going to show up wearing, so be real. Like, you always are. What did you think about this look? Talk to us. Doja Cat has an eccentric style, we'll call it. It's eccentric. It's eclectic. This is a deconstructed outfit, which, for those who don't know what that means, ripped to shreds. <laughs> uh, it is literally shreds of fabric. Remember when Cher or yeah. Celine Dion and Whitney Houston used to wear gowns to perform? Now you wear sort of part of a bikini and a lot of stuff going on that, that doesn't make sense. This is one of her favorite designers, too. This is a favorite of hers. They're from LA, it's Anetra mm -hmm. is the name of the designer and they made this special for her so not everybody can get this look, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Maybe I can. <laughs> no, you can't. I got some connections, <laughs> Philip. what's up? All right, well, you know, we could go to LA and hook you up. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Philip. how about your favorite Billie Eilish? How, what do you, what, I'm, I've said that hesitantly because I didn't know if this is real or not. <laughs> well, you know, Billie Eilish and I have some fashion uh, ideas that are different, shall we say. You know, again, she's very covered up. Everybody else comes all skin and showing all skin and very revealing. Billie Eilish likes to be covered. I like the bike shorts. This is by a designer named Conrad. Mm. And I think it's really interesting, the pattern, the pop print with the, uh, I think she's got the evil eye going on in there. And necklaces. She did lots of accessories. The necklaces, the knee pads. I don't know what that kind of sort of a glove is going on. This is young people style. I mean, this is not for everybody. You know, young kids, they have their own style. They have their own words. As they would say, this is her fit is lit. <laughs> her fit is her outfit and it's lit, meaning it's sexy and, and hot and fun. You're, so you're her fit is lit. Uh, Let's she slayed it. She right. slayed it. That's another word. You got to know the yes. words if you're going to understand the fashion. We're picking up what you laying down, okay? So let's talk about <laughs> Harry Styles. There you go. <laughs> because he surprised everyone by bringing out Shania Twain yes. and the two twinned. Now, what do you think of this? Because, fun fact, I almost bought that dress Shut up. for Grammy weekend. I almost bought what Harry has on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank God it was almost. <laughs> you didn't go through with it, I'm very glad. Um, you know, Harry's in Gucci. You can't go wrong with Gucci, Oof. except in this outfit. You know, Harry likes to be very gender fluid. Yeah. He likes to bend the rules. This is like Elton John and yeah. Freddie Mercury. I mean, he's not doing anything that they didn't do back in the 80s and the 70s and 80s and 90s. You know, this is Harry's, the modern version of it. And Shania, I love the two of them together. It's not Sonny and Cher, mind you, 
but <laughs> they've got their own thing going on. The only thing is, Shania, the white boots are very in, but maybe not the white go-go boots with that yeah, outfit. It's yeah, kind fair. of a little wrong. Fair. A little wrong. I love it. Philip. But Shania's got sketchy taste in, in shoes. I hear she likes Sketchers, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing before we get out of here. Philip, thanks for all your insight. Look for Philip's new podcast, True Crime Fashion and Passion. Awesome. And you can also follow him at Philip Block. Philip, always a pleasure, my man. Come, Come back, back soon. Phil. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right You're back. Fit You're fit lit. is lit. <laughs> <laughs>